Hey everybody, it's A from Ebony Girl Speaks. I just wanted to um, talk a little bit as to why I became natural and how I am enjoying it still so much and glad that I did it. I am so glad that I did. This is not a video to bash anyone who wears perms. It's not to try to convert anybody. But I just wanted to... Um, let you guys know that I'm still enjoying being a natural and I'm glad that I did. And just talk a little bit as to why I decided to go natural. When I first started making um, videos here on YouTube, if you notice and you watch, and I hope that you did, my hair was permed. And I had started on a healthy hair journey at that time um, with my permed hair. Because I wasn't taking care of it, it was falling out a lot. Um, and I just wanted to get it back to its healthiest state. I didn't really care for how long it had gotten or how, how long it would get. I just wanted it to be full and nice and so forth. Um, you know how we women are about our hair, whether it's natural or perm, we want it to, to look its, it's best, absolute best. And that's what I wanted. And I felt my hair wasn't looking its best. I wish I had a picture to show you guys what my hair looked like when I was taking real good care of it. Um, and that's what I wanted. And while I was looking at the videos, I noticed that my hair looked nowhere near what it was that um, I knew it had been and could be. And I really, really didn't have um, the time or I wasn't making the time to take care of it to get it back to where it was. And I knew that it was going to continue to break off. Because I just wouldn't keep up with the um, maintenance. I had the type of hair that um, if my hair is not washed, conditioned, deep conditioned by the seventh day, it starts breaking off. And I notice my natural hair is the same exact way. Because I have tightly coiled hair. And you know that hair needs more, more moisture than any other type of hair. And it's very fragile and it breaks easier than any other type of hair. So I guess that even in its perm state, it still breaks off as easily. Well, it did. My hair did. If I didn't take care of it, I'm telling you, on the seventh day, it would start breaking. I had to have it washed every seven days, and I wasn't doing it. So when I would look back at some of the videos that I was doing, even though I was beginning to start again taking care of it, it just didn't look good. So for a while, I used to joke with myself. And some people I knew that I was going to cut all my hair off. I was like, no, you can't do that. Don't do that. So I figured, okay, what I'll do is just continue to wear like the half wig, the half wigs, the half wigs. I like those. So I figured out, you know, get some more of those. I already had a lot anyway um, from another time when I was going on a healthy hair journey and using those as protective styles and, you know, was doing it pretty much, was going to do it again this time. But I just didn't want to do that. I didn't want to start wearing the braids and have to um, take them out and put them in. No, I didn't want to do that either. So I figured, you know what? Nope. Before I even got to that point, while here on YouTube, just coming across some of the ladies' videos every now and then, I would look at the hairstyles. That's what really got me because I like those hairstyles when your hair is, um, like, I call it a coily afro. Because it's more coiled than it is curly. So I'm going to call it a coily afro. I really like those. I liked it when it was long, you know, or short, or the afro full on the top and tapered and all that. I like that. So I was like, wow, I really, really like that. That's one of the reasons why I decided to go natural. Like I said, my process wasn't a complex one. It wasn't one that took a long, you know, time for me to get to, um... And I didn't want to transition. I, I didn't want to do that. I had did that once before, but not transitioning to become natural. Transitioning from unhealthy hair back to healthy hair. And I did it for like about a year, a year and a half. And of course it worked. My hair grew. But it was just the process and the upkeep. You know, because I just take my braids, I just get my hair braided, corn rolled or box braided or whatever. Every three months I would, you know, take that style out and do it again. So when my hair began to grow out the perm, at that time, my hair was so thick and coarse. I'm telling you, there used to be a job in the chore all within itself. And I did not want to go through that again. But one thing I noticed this time, my hair being 100% natural, was that it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I really thought this was going to be a journey I did not want to undertake at 
or unless somebody else is doing it for me. But I come to um, really, really, really look forward to doing my hair, to trying new things. I haven't tried many new things, but um, no matter what it is, I am so glad that I did go natural. I... I'm saving money, of course, because I don't go to the salon and do my hair myself. Um, if I knew a natural salon that I would like to go to that wouldn't charge me an arm and leg, which I'm sure they will, then I would go. But I don't mind doing my hair myself now because my hair is not that long. But I just decided I wanted to go natural, not because perms are bad for your hair or anything like that. It's just that, like I said, I wasn't taking care of my um, hair at all, so I figured... If I'm not going to take care of it with um, chemicals in it, let me just, you know, go natural. So, again, I'll say that I'm glad that I did um, all the new products. Well, I bought a few products, not a lot of products, but the products that I bought, I'm enjoying um, trying them out, seeing what they're about, um, seeing which ones I like and I don't like. The only thing I think I've shared with you guys that I've used so far on my natural hair is the Eco Styler Gel. I haven't used it since, but um, I still like it. But um, there's so many things that I want to try with my natural hair. I can't wait till it, till it grows out a little bit longer so I can do updos and um, ponytails and puffs. I did wear a puff the other day, which surprised me, but it wasn't really like, really wasn't how I wanted it to be, but it was still a puff nonetheless. But you wouldn't have known that because it didn't, well, I'll try it again. I'll, I'll, I'll try it again and I'll show you what it is that I came up with. But um, that's why I decided to go natural. Um, and like I said, I just decided if I'm going to go natural, just cut it all off. You know, I wasn't afraid to wear my hair short. If you see the video that I did when I cut my hair, you notice I cut it very short. And I wasn't afraid to wear it short. I wasn't afraid of what people would say. My son, um, he just looked at me like, okay, now, why does she do that? But um, he's giving me compliments. He likes how it looks, how it comes out. He says it looks good on me. Every now and then he'll tease me and call me Florida Evans. <laughs> but um, I tell him, that's okay, because I like my natural hair. If I didn't like it, it might be a problem. But I really, really like my hair. Um, I have to get back into... The process, process of doing it every week. Because like I said, even with my hair being natural, I noticed that um, if I go longer than a week, if I do it like every two weeks, it gives me some breakage. I know I'm going to have breakage, but I noticed if I do it every week, well, when I started doing it, when I first went natural and I was doing my hair every week, I didn't see that. But you know, after a while, you kind of lay back and lax back and you know, you, you, you take more liberties. I wish that, um, well, I guess I will start, but I just wish that I can just keep it up doing it every week. You know, even if it's just a cold wash, something simple, you know. We don't want to start doing more cold washes. I don't do many cold washes. I really like to wash my hair and, and um, condition it, deep condition it. But I figure if I'm looking for moisture, which I am, because my hair... As a matter of fact, it doesn't get as dry as I thought it would be because I use, you know, the shea butter, the coconut oil, and some olive oil in my hair every time I wash it. And it seems to be holding up pretty good. But I just went natural, like I said, because I wasn't taking care of my perm hair. And I didn't think that I would really enjoy or like the process of wear my hair natural but <clears throat> much to my surprise I, I i like it because i like putting my hands in it. even when i do a twist i like to just run my hands along you know the twist i just like the texture i like the feel i like pretty much everything that goes with the natural hair now if i could find somebody to come to my house and do it when it get longer when it gets longer <laughs> then i'll be better off I'll, I'll feel really good about that but I think what I better do is just get used to it in its shorter state so that when it starts getting longer on me, it won't be such of a, 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 a bad process, you know, getting to do it when it's longer because it's going to be longer and fuller, fuller, not fuller, but fuller. But either way, no matter what, I am glad that I did it. 
The reason why I went natural is not a complex one. Like I said, it's just that I wasn't taking care of it. I like natural hairstyles that I was saying. I think they are so nice, especially the one that I really like is when the young lady might have her hair pushed up and then she'll have the twist going to the front. Oh, I can't wait to be able to wear my hair like that. Oh, goodness. You don't know how I cannot wait. But the way that my hair is growing, I'm pretty much, you know, pleased with it. Like I said, it hasn't been quite a year yet since I cut it. Sometime next month in June will be a year. So, um, I wish it was a little bit long, but I think that if I wanted to, I can do some type of updo, but it wouldn't come out the way I wanted to. So I'll just wait a little while. Um, last week, the week before, when I did a twist out, I didn't like how it came out. Can you believe I didn't like it because I liked my hair when it was shorter? I don't know. I liked it when it was shorter. As it's getting longer, I don't like how it looks. I don't know if that's odd. Even though I want my hair to be longer. But um, like I said, about two weeks ago, I took it and I just did not like it. Mm, I don't know. I got to play with it and try to do some other styles or whatever. But I love my natural hair. And I'm glad that I did it. And I hope to be able to share a little bit more with you guys as to some of the things that I've come across that I like. I um I think the next time I wash my hair I'm gonna try um I bought some Miss Jessie's um products I bought it way back in um December when they had to buy one get one free because that stuff is exp you know wow that stuff is so expensive overpriced if you ask me but I bought it anyway and um. I think the only thing I've tried so far was the buttercream. No, I tried the, the curly pudding also, but I have to try it again. So I'm going to try it again and just show you what it looks like. You know, so for anybody who has hair like mine, you can decipher, if that's, decipher or decide, I should say, if that's something that you like to buy. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm going to end the video now because I want to watch the news. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. But you know how I want to end this video. The way that I have for, so, for quite some time. And I just want to say, share and spread love. Just share and spread love. Bye, you guys. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Later.